heat map in Jasper Soft Studio. This is a heat map chart. The heat map is one of the few color axis based charts that displays a color code crosstab. Category defines the y axis, series defines the x axis, and measure defines the aggregated value. To use a heat map, you need to define the color axis properties. Color access properties are not exposed in the UI and can be found in the High Charts API website. API highcharts.com slash high maps slash color access. Color access properties will need to be added in chart formatting, advanced formatting, add menu as they are not present in the list. Let's take a look at our current heat map. It uses the color axis min color and max color properties to divide the data set into two categories. Here we have color axis min color set to red and color axis max color set to green. Let's see how it works. This is the heat map. So here we have uh, all the well, all the categories that have some value are green, that have no value are red. So this kind of uh, coloration is useful for successful AL heat maps where your data set is Boolean and as true or false. But what if you want to use gradient colors and for the actual data instead? Well, we'll need to use color access stop or color access data classes properties. Let me show you how it's done. Color access stops and color access data uh, classes require to provide an array. Arrays are not passable that easily through the UI or XML, but you can write a function that will return an array with all the desired values. Here I have two functions prepared. This one returns an array of arrays which define the stops and assign the color. We can use it for the color access property. Let's try. Show advanced properties. Here we delete these two because we don't need them anymore. And then we add color access stops. Use expression. Use this function. Press OK, press OK, let's save it and run. Here, as you can see, we have more categories now and the colors are more gradient. You can also use the color access data classes property. Here we have a function that returns an array of data classes. Data classes are defined by the properties to and from. The from is from which value and to is to which value this data class is applied. For each data class, the color access will perform a different coloration. Let's try this. And let's go to chart formatting, show advanced properties, user defined. We will need to rename this property to data classes instead and add that function that we just copied. Let's press OK. OK. Let's save and preview. As you see, we have a completely different chart now, completely different coloration. And here in the legend, we can see our data classes. So for all these functions to work, you need to make sure that your functions property is turned on so to do that, go to pre Window, Preferences, JasperSoft Studio, Properties, and you need to make sure that your function property is turned on. This is the function property. Com, JasperSoft, Jasper Reports, High Charts, Function Properties Allowed, and it needs to be set to True. 